I just drooled because it's exciting. There are 25 single note element fragrance oils. That's a lot. Let's get into it. Super curious how these stand, right? They're single notes. Do you have to blend like a bazillion? Like with perfumery, you need quite a few single note accords to pull something super unique together. And I'm just curious, can you do that with these fragrance oils? Hey everybody, it's Carrie, Ona and Mika of Kuto Home and Body. Welcome back, I am so glad you're here. We have a lot to get into, so let's just dive right in. So we're gonna start with the thing that is my least favorite, but I'm the type of person who, I really believe in just facing things head on. I'm not one to avoid, so I'm looking at you, gourmand. Let's get into it. All right, there are four different elements in the gourmand collection. We have vanilla, coconut, praline, and chocolate. The most egregious here is gonna be the chocolate, so let's just, let's just go. I've already got these on strips, they've dried down. <coughs> oh no. No, oh, I do not like this chocolate. Oh man, it made my eyes water. Here's the thing, it, chocolate is potent. This smells more like, um, come on. <coughs> it smells more like fudge, this sucks. I don't like it. It smells more fudgy than chocolatey. Um, anybody want it? Let's cleanse our palate with coconut. I don't even know if you can see. Let's 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 do it. Coconut. This anything, you know? Okay. Oh, relief, relief, sweet relief. Yeah. I mean, it smells like straight up beach coconut. You know? It's a little you know what it smells like? It smells like coconut cream. Very gourmand. Yeah, I mean, that would make a great blender. Not like a straight up coconut where you know you've got the the flesh of the coconut. Yeah, interesting. Not what I expected with the coconut. Let's smell praline. Listen, I'm just gonna try to like get through these real quick. They are single note. I don't know that there's a ton to say. Um, okay. Okay, that is really nice. It's good. It smells very bakery sweet. Like it's super sweet praline. That is good. It's like a sugared praline. It's super real. It's not artificial. I feel like the coconut and the chocolate are kind of leaning a hair artificial. Okay, that, that's the best one of this gourmand collection. Let's smell the vanilla element. This smells like very vanilla. If you have very vanilla, it's more of like a buttercream frosting where it's like, it's sweet, it's sugary. I think what I was expecting with the vanilla is for it to be like a vanilla bean, like a, a true vanilla. And that this is very vanilla. I would say if you have very vanilla, you know what this smells like. Um, this smells like very vanilla, but more artificial. All right, not great, Bob. Not great. Not great, Bob. I would say the praline is pretty good. That was the best. Obviously the things you'd probably wanna blend with these types of oils or these types of scents, I should say, is gonna be like spices, like your cinnamon, like your baking spices. Um, and obviously, well, with the coconut, the vanilla, <clears throat> excuse me, you probably wanna blend those with maybe some ozonic notes, some fruit notes. Yeah, that could be interesting. All right, praline is my favorite of the gourmand. Let's switch it up. Let's get into smelling the citrus single note elements. We're gonna start with pink grapefruit because I have it here drying down on the blotter strip and it is strong, it is potent. I love the smell of grapefruit. Pink grapefruit, I think it has a sweeter note to it. Um, it's very strong, but it's, it's such a good clean uh, fragrance. Okay, <laughs> that smells real. That doesn't smell artificial. That smells true pink grapefruit. Oh, that is really nice. It's, oh man, that's really good. It's almost like, it's like a fresh squeezed grapefruit juice that's been in the sun. Mm. Oh, that's really nice, very excellent. Okay. I'm very familiar with these next two. We have bergamot, because I love bergamot. I have it in a lot of my products. <sighs> oh, that's a lot lighter than I expected. 
Oh, this is good. This is like a true bergamot. You can smell the green leaves in here. Oh, wow. You can smell where it was sitting on the tree. You know, it's very real, Not nothing artificial. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Reset your nose. Let's get into some lemon. <laughs> yeah, it's a sweet lemon. Um, it should be more tart, a little more acidic, but uh, that's pretty good. I just inhaled it. This is really good. Um, it's borderline cleaner, like pine salt, because, you know, cleaners have lemon. I think the thing that's throwing me off is there's a sweetness in here and it should be tat. It should be a little bitter. It should, um, <laughs> it's in my throat. <coughs> it's good. Definitely a great single note blender. I think the best of these is probably the bergamot for me. In my opinion, let's keep things light and fresh, shall we? Let's smell the fruity elements. We're going to start with strawberry. Can smell it on the strip. Hmm. It's okay. You know what it smells like? It smells artificial, first of all. It smells like, you know, those strawberry hot candies? They're like wrapped in like a wrapper that looks like a strawberry. Like that. <laughs> um, that's what it smells like. So it's not like a real strawberry. It's, again, it's got like this sugar note in it. Like it's very sweet. Yeah. You know, we're going to smell the pineapple element. Okay, that is way more real, way more real. This smells like when you're cutting a pineapple and you start getting that effervescence and you know how it bubbles a little bit when you're cutting it and the juice kind of spills out. It smells like that moment right there. It's really good. It's such, a, it's such an interesting one too. I love pineapples with like white florals. Um, that, that could be really nice. It's just so particular. And again, keeping in mind, these are just one note. So uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. Speaking of white florals, let's just get into white florals, shall we? All right, let's check out Jasmine here. Oops, couldn't get my strip. It's good. Okay. You know, the thing with, that I struggle with Jasmine is it can have like an undertone of, it smells like mothballs. Do you know what I mean? Do you know that scent? <laughs> Please tell me you know what I mean. I hope you do, but it kind of has, and that's just, that's just Jasmine. Um, and this is really capturing that. So it's very real to life, very true. It's not artificial. It's good. It's intense. It is potent. <whistles> okay. All right. The next one is Muge. Let's, or if you're from Boston, Muget. Uh, this is just Lily of the Valley. It's Muge is the fancy way. When I started getting into perfumery, Lily of the Valley is always around and I just fell in love with her. Yeah, you know what? There's a patteriness, there's a softness to Muge that, let's just call it Lily of the Valley, right? It's so good. Oh, this is good too. Man, this is gorgeous on its own. That's why it's in a lot of perfumes. Dang! This is my favorite so far of everything. <laughs> I really like it. Very true, very real. I had mentioned grabbing a pineapple with a white floral. Let's just, let's just put this with the jasmine. It's okay. Let's try it with the lily of the valley. It's interesting. I like it. You'd need more, but man, lily, muge is so dang good. Oh, grrr. all right. Let's smell the woody elements here. Uh, I've got cedar, so let's start with that one. I love I love Candle Science's Cedarwood Blanc. It's one of my faves. Oh, you know what's interesting? This kind of has like a smokiness to it. It's good. I think I like Cedarwood Blanc a little bit better just because it, it's softer. Um, this is good. It's It smells like if you've ever been in the woods or if you've ever gone camping or been somewhere outdoors and you've had the pleasure of cutting a tree down or like hacking into a stump, it smells like the center of a cedar tree. Mm. True to life, nothing fake. This is very good. Excellent, excellent. Ooh, 
I'm just going to slap some muge with the cedar just because I have it here. <sighs> what? Oh, yeah. That is the start of something very good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to blend everything with Lily of the Valley. All right. Let's smell sandalwood. I also use sandalwood. Uh, if you've seen my blending video, I love sandalwood. It's such a great blender. And I just, I'm curious. So I put some on a strip. Let's see how it compares. So let's go into the single note here. Oh my gosh, it's so light. I mean, sandalwood is light, but that's why it needs other things to help stand it up. I'm having a really hot time smelling this. It's super light. I'm gonna OOB. It is light. Okay, where is my, all right, this is from my sandalwood, um, this is from my jug. Yeah, see, it is light, but I feel like, I think the sandalwood fragrance oil is better than the single element, but they're both very light, I just wanna say, so you know what you're getting. All right, let's get into the smoke element. Full disclosure, I have, this is the only one that I played with, pulled it out specifically, uh, just trying to inject exactly that, just some smoke into a blend that I did for my fall line. It was awesome. So I know what it smells like. It is, it is a true smoke, smoke. It's good. It's like, it's got that little bit of sweetness from incense and that like, you know, when a smoke is, when you, a fire has gone out and you have that, those smoldering bits, that's what this smells like. Excellent, excellent. In wax, it, it tends to throw and lean a little bit on the sweet side, which is why I ended up going with something else. But if, if that other one didn't work, I was still gonna, I was just gonna use the smoke and I was gonna pull it back. But honestly, you just need a little bit. I would say if you're trying to inject some smoke, you could do it at about 15%. I started at 25 because I wanted to know and it was, it was good, it just overpowered it. Okay, yeah, I mean, smoke element is P good. All right, let's get into my spices here. This, uh, all right, ooh, can smell this one. Let's start with cinnamon, AKA Pete's favorite. This is his spirit animal in life. He loves everything cinnamon. I can already smell it, it's pretty potent. Yeah, I mean, it is cinnamon. It's like cinnamon stick straight up. It's excellent. I mean, it's cinnamon. It smells great. <laughs> All right, this next one is baking spices. I told you, we're gonna fly through here. I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best. Where did my strip go? Here it is. <clears throat> That's so interesting. It smells like baking spices with a perfume note in it. There is something perfumer, perfumey in here. It's good. Um, it's like an elevated baking spice. Hmm. Oh gosh, interesting. I like it because it does have this, this pretty, almost like a floral perfume note. It's very nice. There's like a touch of powder in there. Hmm. It's good. Obviously these will go well with gourmand, but I mean, you could throw any of these in with the florals, maybe a couple of these woods. Um, all right, cod this one I'm super interested to smell. This is cardamom, cardamom. Okay. Ooh, I was like, how are they gonna get cardamom? They nailed it. This is fantastic. I mean, it is earthy. It's like you can smell that pot if, if, if you just cracked it between your fingers and you're getting some of that oil. That's what it smells like, little, little green, very spicy, very earthy, fresh, like a touch of citrus, dare I say. Mm, I mean, I just described cardamom, but if you don't know what cardamom smells like, that's what it smells like. <laughs> oh, wow, that is excellent. Very, very, very good. Man, cardamom with, en with any of these florals, I mean, yeah, it, dang, that is really good, excellent. You know, I think the thing that's missing for me in the spice element is something like a, a chili pepper or something that is has a little more grit to it because I think 
that would go so well, especially with the gourmands, like chocolate, like a spicy chocolate, that would be good. But like a, yeah, like a chili, chili pepper chocolate, I think that would be good. Love, love the cardamom though. That's my favorite of that group. All right, I have a couple of ones here that don't really belong in a category. Like I've got basil. This is gonna be more of like an herb, like aromatic. Just smell that on its own. And basil, you can put this with just about anything. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, oh gosh. It's good, it's not fake at all. This smells like when you get fresh basil and you rinse it off uh, under the water and then you slap it on your hand to dry it. It smells like that, where it, you've just woken up the, the basil leaves. Oh, yeah. And if you haven't done that, you should do it. It's so good. <laughs> okay, dang, that is excellent. Excellent ba basil, loving that, loving that. All right, and then we have another one here. This is amber. It doesn't really like belong in a category like we've been doing. And if you're new here, welcome. Amber is my love language. I love everything, amber. It is so freaking good. Ugh. Let's see how it does as a single note element. I'm not kidding. I have a love affair with Amber. Oh my God. It's excellent. Oh, thank God. I wasn't sure, you know, it's so good. It's, this is why you see it in a ton of other fragrance oils, perfumes, your favorite perfumes. It is, it is just such a soft, elegant, sexy, like you could just wear this on its own. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, it just elevates everything you put it in, in your mind, apparently, in your spirit, in your soul, like me. Mm. Oh God, yes. Okay, that's my favorite. It has to be my favorite because Amba, for the win. All right, let's get into our next category. This is sort of like marine ozonic. We're gonna start with the aquatic element. Oh, hi, honey. Oh my God. Say hi. Isn't my big boy. He just doesn't like being left out. Okay. All right, aquatic. This is excellent. Aquatic, it's like, what's the interpretation? What is it? It smells like it has white florals mixed in here, like white jasmine. Mm. It's good, it's very fresh. It's, it's such a great blender because ugh, you can do so much with this. I think this would support quite a bit. You know it would be great with this? Amber. Oh yeah, we love we love an amber moment with some uh, aquatic. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, you add amber to just about anything and you're good. Yeah, it's good. I feel like the aquatic element can be achieved by combining a couple of the other notes, but um, you know. All right, let's get into the ozonic element. <clears throat> Whoa. This smells very familiar. This is excellent. Okay. It does remind me, <clears throat> excuse me, of a perfume. Oh man. Here's what I'm smelling. It's very fresh. It's very light, like very clean air. Uh, I also smell some white floral in here as well. This is a very spa. I just, so sorry about that. This smells like a, a spa. Oh, it's good. Oh yeah, nailed it. Very good. It's like ozonic, what is your interpretation? You know what I mean? You, if anyone else were to make an ozonic element, they wouldn't be wrong because it's really just putting, you know, putting this together. But I'm definitely smelling like some, it's a little salty. Oh, it's good. I like it. Okay. Wow, that, that was super interesting. Okay, oh, is this the last? It is, all right, that wasn't too bad. We're almost there, we're almost there. Four more, and this is the green group, we'll call it, okay. All right, let's start with green leaves. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's like dirty green. Oh, it's good. You have a little sweetness from, what is that, leaves, grass? I'm smelling grass. This almost smells like they took fresh cut grass 
with petrichor, but like the smallest amount of petrichor. It's good. It is very earthy, real. It's nice. Inter that, that would be a fantastic blender. If, you know, I would blend it with some of these woody elements. Um, shoot, you could even gr grab it with this ozonic element. Interesting. You'd need more green. I touch that ozonic element is very strong, very strong. Okay, let's smell the moss element. I think I smell it on the strip. Yeah, <laughs> this basically smells like petrichor. I think petrichor is better. It's wetter, and this is it's good. This smells very real. It's just not. I mean, ugh, this is terrible. Because I was like, it's not as deep as petrichor, but obviously because it's a single note, so it's just the moss. I feel like you probably what you're striving for, if you're look, if you're reaching for a moss element, you should just reach for pet petrichor. Or I guess you could do like green leaves and moss. It's sort of like, yeah. <sighs> I mean, that green leaves is dirty. Like wet soil is good. Yeah, the moss is great too. Again, I'm picking up just like a hair of a floral. I want to say it's magnolia. Like a, a touch. It's good. All right, we're going to get into the pine. Oh, that smells good. It smells like Fraser fir. Hold. Pine element. It's good. It's good. It smells good. Fraser fir. Fraser fir has, I smell like citrus and cypress, like more tree. Okay. I mean, get Fraser fir because it's, it just has that little bit, a few extra notes. Whereas the pine, yeah, it's just straight up pine. Obviously, if you just needed a straight up pine, but it's like, it's Fraser fir, but Fraser fir smells better. There's more depth there. All right, we are down to our last one. I can't believe it, we're here. And we are gonna smell cucumber, cucumber, for those not from the East Coast. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Mmm, that smells really good. Super spa. It smells like the center of a cucumber, like where the seeds are, where the jute, like when you cut into it, you've got like a little bit of that cucumber skin. Mmm, that's excellent. Okay, really good. Very nice, very real, nothing artificial there. Now that we've gone through all 25 of these elements, I have a hot take. <laughs> and this might be controversial. But I'm going to say it because it's my channel and I say what I want to. Um, here's the thing. This is a super cool idea. It's all in the execution. So I would say if you're someone who's super into perfumes or wanting to learn perfumery, this is a good place to start, but I wouldn't stay here for long. I think you would outgrow this very quickly because you do want to get into those more concentrated unique fragrance accords that you would use to make perfume. They're more potent. They're also a lot more expensive. If you want to get into perfumery, like heads up, it's going to be expensive. We're, we already love making candles and all the things and fragrance oils. It's expensive, but let me tell you, perfumery is a whole other level. That's very expensive. Um, for using these oils to make your own blends for candles, of course you can do that. It's going to be very basic though. And I say that because if you, when you buy a fragrance oil, like for instance, we smelled the Fraser fir with the fir element, the Fraser fir fragrance oil, while it has like a couple more notes in it, it's just more complex. You will not achieve the blends that you will buy with a fragrance oil because we have companies that are making, they're also including, you know, safe, essential oils. So they're really getting these complex blends and you're just not going to find something like that here. You know what I'm saying? Think about your favorite fragrance oil. Like what's your favorite fragrance oil? For example, the Rebel Rose, Black Tie Bond. I love that oil. I don't think I could replicate that 
by using, excuse me, <clears throat> by using these elements, you would have to go and get like a labdanum. Like you'd have to get a lot of other things. And unless you are skilled and you have, like, it would just be too difficult. But I think it's a good place to start. Um, I'm glad I did this. It was really interesting to know. I wanted to see how it would compare to a perfume accords. And they're very different. Everything is very different. You can blend 10 of these together and you will get something that is probably fantastic, but it's gonna be missing a depth there because it we are very limited. Like I was saying, what's there's a couple of notes missing here for me, um, but one of them is like a spicy, a, a true like chili spice pepper type thing. Cause I think that goes so well, or even like a black pepper to put in, you know, I think, uh, I think it's it's a good place to start, but I don't think uh, it works in execution. So that is my opinion. If you have tried this, I'd love to know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let's chat about it. Let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, you guys, I'll see you then. Bye.